Hello everybody, we're going to talk about birth rate, death rate and the natural increase. The aim of this lesson is to be able to define all of these terms and to be able to calculate the natural increase. So, let's start. Wouldn't it be interesting to know if the population of your country is going to increase in the future? Or maybe it could decrease. How will you find out? Let's learn some terms first. The birth rate, the average number of live births in a year for every 1000 people in the total population. Let's look at some birth rates around the world. The birth rate of Canada is 10.3 births per 1000 people. The birth rate of Venezuela is 18.2. The one of Malta is 9.2, Somalia's is 41.9, and Japan is 7.6. You can see that in each of these countries, one in every continent, the birth rate is different. You can notice that the highest birth rate is of Somalia, with 41.9, and the lowest birth rate is found in Japan. We also need to look at death rate. Death rate is the average number of deaths in a year for every 1,000 people in the total population. Let's look at the same countries, but instead of looking at their birth rate, we're going to look at their death rate. Canada's death rate is 7.7, Venezuela's is 5.3, Malta's is 7.9 deaths per 1,000 people, There's Somalia, which is 12.8, Japan, which is 10.7. You can see that in these five different countries, the death rate is also very different. You can notice that Somalia has the highest death rate, and you can also see that Venezuela has the lowest death rate. Now we need to compare both birth rate and death rate. The natural increase allows us to do that. So the natural increase is the difference between the birth rate and the death rate of a country. So to work it out, you just need to get the birth rate and minus the death rate. And this will leave you with a number which is the natural increase. Let's look at the natural increase of Malta. So we said that the birth rate in Malta is 9.2. Death rate in Malta is 7.9. So if I had to work out 9.2 minus 7.9, the answer will be 1.3. And this is called the natural increase. Let's look at the natural increase of the countries we mentioned before. So we're going to have the birth rate, take away the death rate, which equals the natural increase. We can see Canada, which has a natural increase of 2.6. Venezuela has a natural increase of 12.9. Malta, we just calculated, has a natural increase of 1.3. Somalia's natural increase is 29.1, and Japan's is minus 3.1. Let's look in a bit more detail at Venezuela's numbers. Venezuela's birth rate was 18.2. That means that for every 1,000 people, 18.2 children were born. The death rate in Venezuela was 5.3. That means for every 1,000 people in Venezuela, 5.3 passed away. The natural increase is the difference between these two numbers. So the natural increase is 12.9. Do you notice that in Venezuela, there's a very high birth rate and a lower death rate? If the birth rate in a country higher than the death rate, that means that the population is going to increase. This is because more babies are being born than people dying. If you have a natural increase of 29, that means that the population is increasing much faster than Venezuela, since Venezuela's natural increase is 12.9. If you have a smaller natural increase, 
Canada's, for example, was 2.6. That means that the population is increasing, but it is increasing at a much slower rate. So the higher the natural increase, the faster the population is increasing. Let's take a look at Japan now. Japan's birth rate was 7.6. That means that for every thousand people in Japan, 7.6 babies are born. The death rate is 10.7. That means that for every thousand people in Japan, 10.7 people are dying. If you work out the difference between these two numbers, you get minus 3.1. So the natural increase is negative. In Japan, there are a lot more deaths than there are births. The death rate is quite a bit higher. If the death rate in a country is higher than the birth rate, it means that more people are dying than children are being born. This means that the population is decreasing. It's important to notice the negative number in front of the 3.1. This means that the population is not growing, but it's decreasing. It's slowly becoming smaller. Final check. This is a table showing three countries and their birth rate, death rate and natural increase. First, you have to work out the natural increase of Brazil and then match the statements to the different countries. Pause the video and allow yourself two minutes to work them out. When you're done, press play and check your answers. Okay, so the first one, work out the natural increase of Brazil. The natural increase is worked out by working out the difference between the birth rate and the death rate. So 14 minus 7, which is 7. The natural increase of Brazil is 7. Which country has the highest birth rate? The country with the highest birth rate is Kenya, with a birth rate of 29, quite a high birth rate. Which country has the lowest birth rate? That would be Italy. Which country has a decreasing population? Remember that a population that is decreasing, that is getting smaller in size, usually has a negative number in the natural increase. So this country is Italy. Italy's population is decreasing slowly. Which country has the fastest growing population? So we can see that there are two countries with a growing population. There's Brazil with a natural increase of seven and Kenya with a natural increase of 24. But the fastest growing population is the larger number. So the answer is Kenya. Okay, remember, geography is everywhere.